Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I um, have a great video planned for us today. It's a real short one. Uh, maybe not even any new information. Uh, before I get started with about the video, I'd like to show you where I'm recording from. I'm at my in-laws house and I hope that you can see the river there. It's the beautiful Elizabeth River in Virginia. It's a very interesting river. The original colonists, the oldest colony, uh, a successful colony in the um, British colony in the United States was right up the river here um, called Jamestown. Well, the colonists settled, sailed right up this river uh, searching for uh, a good location for the ultimate settlement. The ultimate settlement wasn't on Elizabeth River, it was on James River, named after important British kings. But they would have sailed right past here. Also, for you history buffs that happen to know about U.S. history, which I imagine not many of you make it an important thing, but the American Civil War had an important battle right off here. Um, uh, every school kid in the United States learns about the Battle of the um, Monitor and the Merrimack um, between the North and South, and the reason it was so notable is that it was, they were fought by two ironclads, that is metal boats, one of the first war um, naval battles fought by ships made of metal. So it's sort of interesting. Well anyway, back to our video, our, 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 our purpose. The video we're looking at today is a just a, an example of using memo amounts. It's, it looks at uh, using memo amounts to help monitor and manage your electricity expense. And I think it's a cool example. But I would like for you to keep in mind that this is an example. You might not be all that interested in managing and monitoring your electricity expense. But just look at the example and think about the way that you can use memo amounts to, to, to do something that really interests you, you see. Okay, so everything you um, see today was done with imports. So the memo amount can be mapped and imported just like the base amount. And, um, and also keep in mind and remember that entries to the memo amount do not have to be balanced entries. So if you want to record things into memo amounts, you don't have to have a debit or credit to balance off um, that entry. So it's perfectly reasonable to load up a bunch of data and to say the electricity expense um, are, are, are the several other examples, but you can load data into memo amount and make entries in the memo amount into an account without making entries into the um, uh, any balancing entry some other place. So let's get started now with the main video and it's very short so just watch it and think think big how can you use this in a big way in your organization. I thought I'd show you a picture of the monitor and Merrimack fighting away. If you look at the flags you can see there's uh, a very interesting thing about U.S. Civil War history is that uh, the rebels or the revolution, the the rebelling um, southern states adopted a flag that looks exactly, almost exactly like the um, the regular American flag. You c you can see that. Well, you start looking at the flags; they all look at the same. Uh, halfway through the war, uh, the similarities were so confusing that halfway through the war, the Civil War, the, the, the South adopted what is known as the uh, battle flag. And so the, um, the flag that most people associate with the South actually was just the battle flag and not actually the flag of the, of the Southern states. And so I thought that little bit of in history would be interesting to you. Okay, let's get started. Our little demo right now is just an example of using memo amounts. And let's suppose you're um, concerned about the electricity expense and you made yourself a little report of electricity expense built on what you already know. 
and you would have a listing of your expense for each period for the past two years. And you sort of scan down this baby and you say, well, it, it sort of seems like it is getting larger. So you look at the first 12 months and you see the total 69,385 and you look at the last 12 months and you see the total of 73,036. Well, it does look like it's going up. But is it going up because we're using more electricity or is it going up because the price of electricity has gone up? So this um, system that I have in place that I want to show you uh, considers that. And so let's just look at the report uh, using the new improved feature functionality that I'm showing you today. So we could extract this report and we um, could see several things. First off, we could see that the kilowatt usage in the last year was 857,000 and this year is 990. So we're using more electricity. In fact, the price of electricity has gone down on an average price for 2008 was 0.08 per kilowatt hour and 2009 it is 0.073 okay so this is my expense but my expense is a product of the kilowatt hours I use times the rate gives my expense okay also I'm keeping track of my expenses by my different buildings by my different electric bills so I'm assuming here that I have get three electric bills, one for the warehouse, one for the conference office, and one for the guest house. At, at Mission College, I um, had meters put on the various buildings so I could figure out which building, if one building was using more electricity or less. And so it worked out that way. And also I did that so I had some sense of of checking behind the electric company it was complex but in any case so what I'd like to show you is how to keep information so you're able to get these details but I want to reiterate to you that this is just an example of using memo amount you may not be interested in in this problem but there may be other problems for example the number of books you handed out the price per book to come up with the expense or you may have contract workers, hours of contract workers worked, okay, hours of contract workers worked, their rate, and um, what you paid them. Uh, so what I hope, you know, you think of this as a general example, and then you put that creative energy to, to work to come up with something that you need to work in your organization. So. So exactly, so this is very simple the way this thing was set up. It'll only take us a minute to look at it. First off, when I created the account, okay, when I created the electricity expense account, I set details as mandatory, okay? Details as mandatory. I wish there was a way to set memo amount as mandatory, but there's not. So. Later on, when we get to business, learning about business rules, I will use this as an example of how to make a business rule that requires memo amount. But meanwhile, you just have to tell your accountants always, when you put something to electricity expense, always put in the memo amount for the kilowatt hours. Okay, so under the details analysis dimension, I set up, um, these analysis codes under details and we have these analysis codes set up and I've set up my three buildings with the prefix of a B. It's um, the details and the projects analysis dimensions are completely yours to be used in the way you want to use them. But I will mention to you that it's very important to use this uh, coding of uh, setting up the analysis codes by clumping together the topics. So the, these dimensions uh, multitask depending on the context. So in this example, I'm going to use the B 
for buildings and I will use that to capture all of my cost of operating these three buildings so I will make my repairs account uh, details mandatory so every time one of these buildings are repaired which building the repair happened in I'll capture that okay but I could also have a V for all of my vehicles and in this example you see here I have I in front of my inventory items and L in front of my literature that I'm passing out and W in front of the um, uh, work in process so in the different context details mean different things so in the context of repairs and uh, utilities the details mean what building did those repairs and utilities go to in the context of literature being handed out the details mean uh, what books were handed out with the L prefix and in the context of building work in process details mean the different elements of uh, doing a work in process so you've got to realize that since the details dimension is is multitasking we have to separate those separate tasks those different tasks with prefixes and so that's what we've done there and so I want all of my buildings in one place and so I I set up a details I set up a, a, a analysis code for each of my buildings okay and I think that takes care of that and so then I go over to my ledger entry and I've got the ledger entry screen here and so I'll, I'll get that account uh, the nine uh, six electricity expense account okay and this would be the January bill there's no reason to put January electricity expense since it's going into the electricity expense account it's redundant to call it January electricity expense when it's that's everything in there is supposed to be that and so here I put in the amount of 1000 dollars and then I put in my memo amount of the kilowatt hours that were used okay and then I'll choose my details and and select my D uh, buildings depending on where the meter was okay the, the the bill was for all right and then um, so I could go ahead and go to the new line and post the credit for that so when I post this it will post this to the base amount amount and this to the memo amount all right and then back over in Q&A okay I can can access my kilowatt hours my memo amounts so instead of kicking base amount over here which is typical I've kicked memo amount over here and that brings up the kilowatt hours that was used and I don't keep I'm not keeping track of my rate but my rate is is nothing but dividing my expense by my kilowatt hours and it gives me my rate okay so if I know this and I know that then I know my rate all right I don't need to uh, have a field for that and that's all there is to it and then when I extract it I've um, broken it out you can see by the um, broken it out by the uh, details uh, of analysis dimension and so I have my expenses in each of those uh, for each of those buildings so now I'd like for you to think about for just a second pause and think about how you could use this in your context even if you don't want to do electricity you may have contract workers, literature you're handing out. You see, you could have a report for each one of your books, the volume of the books that were handed out, the price of the books. You could have uh, different books down here instead of by month and break out by your different unions, all kinds of things. So thanks for watching this, and um, I've got a lot of exciting videos coming up. I'm, so excited so uh, you're gonna love the ones the next two so make sure you stay 
uh, tuned for those things. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.